commonly acclaimed professional cyclist and triathlete and coach at Melrad Multisport. Welcome to Melrad's Skills Series. Today I'm going to talk to you about a skill called terrain awareness. So has anybody ever said to you that you should always look where you want to go and not where you don't want to go? Well, it turns out that that's actually a skill that you use in mountain biking. So I'm going to tell you how to do this. When you're riding, you always want to be cycling your gaze between what's coming up like right now, immediately in front of you, and what's coming next, which is just further down the trail. Now, the distance in front of yourself that you're looking when you're cycling your gaze between these two perspectives totally depends on how fast you're going. What happens with beginners is very often we, we will look at like right at what's happening right now because we're really concerned with managing an obstacle immediately in front of you. That's sort of a confidence thing where you, you don't trust that your instinct and your reflexes are going to allow you to sort of ride through something. So you're almost micromanaging. Instead, what you want to do is, is choose your line by looking further down the trail and then just micro adjusting when you're coming immediately into something and be constantly cycling your gaze between what's coming next and what's coming up now. So when I talk about that, obviously it's totally dependent on speed, but the now has to still be within a range that you can still make some difference into what's happening. So probably one to three seconds in front of yourself is, is gonna be enough time to like maybe react, brace, break, do something just again, micro adjustment to get through an obstacle. And then next can be like looking six to eight feet down the trail to sort of scope out what your line is going to be and, and set yourself up to head in that direction. So don't underestimate your, your instincts and your reflexes because once your brain sees something, it'll coordinate with your body to set you, set you up to go in that direction. And a lot of mountain biking is, is weight transfer and reflexes in, in reacting to the terrain. So when you want to be looking where you want to go and not where you don't want to go, where you're looking sort of cycles between what's happening right now and what's happening next. So take this advice and start practicing this skill by sort of over using either some of the now or some of the next. And notice that if you're always looking right down in front of you, you don't have time to reset what your line is because you can't haven't anticipated what's coming. And similarly, if you only look way up down the trail or way out in front of you, there might be something that comes up that you have to react to, like it's going to be bumpy or there's a rock or something like that, where if you had seen that it was coming, you would have either tensed up and, and braced for it or potentially just relaxed to absorb the impact. So by overusing the now and the next, you can kind of get a feel for what the right amount is. But from what I've seen with beginners, very often what happens is it's an over-focusing on what's happening now. And especially as you go faster, you're going to have to be cycling your gaze back and forth quicker because things are coming at you a lot faster. So that was terrain awareness. If you like this video and you want some more beginner mountain bike skills, please check out the other videos in Mel's Rad Skills series. I'll see you at the next one.